Hello, I'm Jen the Bug, and it's vlog time again! Today we are going to be doing the weirdest unboxing. I just went and cleaned out my cabinet, my little space afforded to me to store everything that I had, since dispatchers can't store their things at their desk or at their workstation. We change workstations over the course of the day, so it all goes in a cabinet. I was a 911 dispatcher for 13 years. Um, six of those were at a private ambulance company. Seven were with a municipality. I'm not saying which ones, so I'm not going to dox myself. But the other day I went to the municipality, to their dispatch center, and cleaned out my cabinet. And I found some weird things. So we're just going to go through these and chit chat about dispatching and friends I've made and memories I've made and hopefully it'll be something interesting. So the first thing I noticed when I was cleaning out my cabinet was Christmas cards! Merry Christmas! Christmas in dispatch is something else. I loved working Christmas. I would take Christmas Eve off and use that time to celebrate with my family and then work Christmas Day so I could get that time and a half shift differential and celebrate Christmas and dispatch. So how does that work? Um, someone, usually the boss, would bring in food, like a full Christmas dinner, and the dispatchers who were on shift would eat it. That was awesome. The dispatchers would leave cards in each other's little mailboxes. That was cool. And at the municipality, we all had stockings. So we'd hang our stockings up um, by the window since we didn't have a fireplace. We'd hang our stockings up and then fill each other's stockings with little treats. There was a lot of candy, a lot, lot of candy. Um, the dispatchers who were a little more well off would leave Starbucks cards and Christmas ornaments. And the whole thing was just wholesome and fun and time and a half. <laughs> and we would spend the night watching our favorite Christmas movies. Depending who was on shift, it could either be Hallmark or it could be Die Hard. I was always on Team Die Hard, but sometimes there, the vote swung more in the Hallmark direction, so I would have to watch that. Totally fine though, I got free food, I got free candy, it was fun. Let's see what else I have here. Um, a couple of United States stickers? These are only notable because I have no idea where they came from. Maybe I could put an upside down one on my car? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. They're screaming, keep me, Jen. We have, we have a, a mission. We have to do something for you. And I just don't know what. Got a big old hand sanitizer. This lives in my room now. Okay. Now we come to... The sad part. All these ponytail holders, all these bobby pins from when I used to have hair. I'm never going to be able to wear these again. I'm just never growing my hair out long. It's too much of a pain to deal with. And on the days that I do have energy to comb my hair or to actually do it and put product in it, then I want to use that energy to do things that are more interesting than doing my hair. So now I got to figure out what to do with these ponytail holders and these bobby pins. Maybe I'll give them to my friend. She has ponytail length hair. Let's see here. We got coloring books. Coloring books were huge in dispatch. We would color all the time. I got colored pencils in there too. These are all like Zen Tangle and Swirly Doodles and very meditative, peaceful coloring. And we did that 
because dispatching is stressful, obviously. You go from complete boredom, nothing is happening, to holy moly, the wheels are flying off, I don't have enough cars, and I am listening to somebody who is this close to dying, and I need a car, and I don't have one. So, we need to relax. So that's what the coloring is for. Another I don't know why I have this, a folder. It's cute. I do have a three ring binder for my house that has like house insurance and maintenance records and all that. Maybe I could put it in there. Hang on to that. Got my notary sticker or notary stamp. It expires in May of next year, so local friends, and you'll know if you're local friends. If you need anything notarized, let me know. And finally, the big chungus. Big story. Uh, this is a bunch of scrapbooking paper. We got stickers, we got letters, we got little scraps in the back here. Got more stickers in the back here. I didn't even know about those. So here's what's up. There is a lady who has been dispatching for longer than I'm alive. I'm pretty sure. And she is also super crafty and into scrapbooking and paper crafts and card making and all kinds of stuff. And she had stuff that she realized she was never going to use. So she gave it to me. Oh yeah. So I'm going to use some of this stuff to get back into scrapbooking, even though it is hard and tedious. I need to at least finish my wedding scrapbook and start taking pictures of myself and scrapbook those too. I also have plenty of awards that I'm not going to show because they have the municipality name like big right there. But, you know, attendance, long service, commendations for working on difficult calls. That brings something up. So, there is a trend of giving dispatchers commendations and awards for dealing with extremely difficult calls. Not difficult in terms of logistics, but, or skill required even, but difficult in terms of the emotional load. And I took a call where a person had died. I'm not going any further into it, but I took a call where a person had died and it was emotional and upsetting. And I got a commendation for that call. There needs to be something else. Because the work I did on that call was average. I did what needed to be done. I did not go above and beyond on that call because really there was no way to. I did not change the outcome of the call because again, there was no way to. But I did feel very profound emotions and very extremely upset. And a performance award is not quite the way to handle that. There needs to be some other way to say, yeah, you've really been through some stuff with this call. And we want to honor you for that, but not with a performance award. And I'm just not quite sure what to do with that. It's something to think about. It really is. So now that I'm not dispatching anymore, I miss it every day. Really every day but I have chemo brain. A dispatcher is expected to multitask, or at least 
complete a bunch of tasks very, very, very quickly. So it looks like they're multitasking. That's what I did. They're expected to hold a bunch of information in their head and get it out as quickly as possible and as clearly as possible. I can hold like one piece of information in my head and usually get it out in an unjumbled fashion, but sometimes not because chemo brain. So I'm doing admin work for the municipality now. There's just no way I could go back, but sometimes I still have dreams where I'm just sitting in front of a workstation for a private ambulance company that's awesome, slinging ambulances everywhere, and it's great. Huh? Or I'm at work, I'm back at the municipality, I'm with my favorite partner, and we're just throwing cars everywhere. <laughs> It's really cool. I'm glad I got to do it for 13 years and I miss it so much, but it would just not be safe or advisable for me to go back. Anyway, thank you for listening to my weird unboxing and I will see you next time.